I had zero intention of making this video, let alone it being what I actually got out today. But as you have guessed, it's regarding the potential synergy of Warley Spices and Woody's transformations. One half is incredibly efficient, while the other may just be slightly better than the alternative. But let's get to it. Of course, someone will have to be Warley, or you'll have to use the Celestial Portal to your advantage in order to do what you'll see here today. And why is that? Well, cause Warley has exclusive crafts and stations that not only create what we need, but are truly only accessible by the Culinarian. So get to it. We begin with the less involved combination, honey and bucktooth beavers. Toss together some honey crystals with the sweet stuff, and then use a seasoning station to sprinkle some on a food of choice, preferably something simple and expendable as we really only care about the effect of the spice here. And for honey crystals, that means double the effectiveness of mining, chopping, and hammering. And would you believe it, folks? That translates to our wear beaver form. The effect lasts half a day, as well as our form. So imagine an extended time of chopping tier three trees with but two chops only, with no need to worry about tree guardians slowing you down. Heck, you'll be chopping every dang tree in the world for Pete's sake. That being said, I wouldn't count out mining either. Cause quickly gnawing your way through countless boulders without having to make a pickaxe after pickaxe should not go unnoticed. And you can easily clear a rock biome in no time. Is he a wood slave extraordinaire? Absolutely, even more so now. But there are other applications that you need to know. But moving on to the garlic powder. We'll need three garlic to be ground up for this next spice, but do so and once more apply the stuff to a not so worthwhile food as to not waste the real good stuff. Again, it's about the spice and its effects, not the foods. And in this case, garlic powder sees the player take 33% less damage when getting bonked on the noggin. But sadly, a particular effect of this potential combination has since been patched. Previously, you literally heal from each set of damage taken, as Moose's pre-existing 90% damage absorption levels, plus the effects of the powder, rendered you near unkillable. But hey, it can still be put to use. It might not be super worth the effort, but anytime you can have the option to take even less damage as the tank is a good time. But that being said, let's spice things up even more, shall we? Enter the Red Hot Chili Flakes, our next spice on this tour of the Gathership. Nab three peppers from your farms, ground them up, and shake them out on your foodies to enjoy not only an increase to your fortitude any longer, but now also some better fists of fury. Stuff your face with a set of garlicky balls to enjoy a defense buff. Munch on some spicy meat in the shape of balls for an increase to your toughness, and then eat a wooden idol that resembles a moose to then enjoy dealing 20% more damage per hoofy punch. Folk wanted the moose's damage buffed, and here you go. But for this and the showcase to follow, let's keep a leveled head. All this is really is a simple handbat wielder doing consistent damage with it. Nothing more really. In fact, staying Woody and using a dark sword with this damage buff in play is way better. Plus, you can just kite to avoid any of the damage entirely. Is this neat? Absolutely. Is it truly worth it? No. Not really at all. Honestly though, there is something fun to just standing up to some other big bads like Berger or Klops for example in these forms as you just take the beating and then still come out on top even with just standing there. But trust me, it still isn't really worth doing every time these guys come stopping. The one thing the Berger fight has over that of the regular fight is that in this form, we don't need to worry about his
Ryan's attacks disarming us because we ain't got nothing in our arms anyways. Well, apart from the muscles that deal 71.4 damage a swing, that is. Hold up. Did you really think I was gonna end there? Not a chance. For you see, if we're talking buffs within Don't Starve Together, we cannot fail to mention the big bad blue goo that is Volt Goat Jelly. But are we stopping there? Of course not, you numpty. Alone, the jelly will see a damage increase of 1.5 times. But we can push that even further beyond with some more of the hot stuff. Sprinkle the peppery delight on the gelatinous goodness for a food item that we've already done our absolute best to cement in history a while back. But oh boy, am I happy to be munching on it again. Let's see what it can do. However, I'd manage your expectations and opinions on the moose's viability still, guys. Is it fun to stand and punch things with an electrified fist that can potentially deal upwards of 179 damage a hit? abso frickin lootly But remember that even a normal character can eat these buffs use a simple dark sword and deal much more damage than that without the health concern nor the inevitability of reverting form during a fight and then dealing with all that nonsense. Also, keep in mind that these are but the four seasonal bosses and can already be handled readily. So this is not the best benchmark either. You'll come out on top in all of these without issue, no doubt there. But the other raid bosses will have none of your moosing around if you tackle them solo like this. Could you do it? Absolutely. I already have. But you best know what the heck you are doing beforehand. Again, it's fun, unique, and gives slightly more gusto to Woody's quote-unquote combat form. But it is still just not as good as your kiting instincts and a simple weapon in hand. But if you believe that beer, then why in the world did you make this video? Well, I never said that this didn't have potential, and some of you out there may not have even been thinking about these possibilities at all, so there you go. That's why. But I mean, if anything, really, the honey crystal slash were beaver combination is still bloody amazing, mind you. And who knows, maybe Moosey gets a buff himself and then this synergy skyrockets into some legendary status. But we shall see. Thanks for watching, everyone. Well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.